Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> How's everybody's week? Hope it's a good week. It's a good week here. Uh, I was going to wear them Playboys, but I wore a couple of them and I just wasn't feeling it. Um, not that I don't like them, just they are what they are. They're generic and they smell like other stuff. So if you want to review on them, I've got a couple reviews out and other people have got other reviews of them. So yeah, I mean, just a I don't and I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. It's not. They're fine. They're good. And if I wish I had had them as a kid because I would have loved them. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a, a quick overview of the house. I mean, most of them lasted about three or four hours. They projected not very much for not very long. But, yeah. But they smell good. And they're cheap, so you can just reapply. Which is what I did. Every one of them got me compliments at work. Um, not massive or anything, couple compliments when people could smell them. So that's the overview of the house of Playboy that I have anyway. It's meh. For the price, really good, but meh. Uh, so I decided after a couple of days of Playboy in, my hands were tired. <laughs> uh, mm, hot chocolate. Um, I was feeling nostalgic. And I don't know why. Sometimes summer does that to me. Um, the, it's the end of the school year for the kids. And I seen the kids and drive by. They were you know, old boyfriends and girlfriends walking hand in hand. And they're fighting. <laughs> and that made me think of uh, my high school days. I mean, we all know I'm this, I'm, you know, nostalgia with me. No, no, not at all. Hike down memory lane, not with me. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I got nostalgia, and I said, you know what, I'm going to wear this and review it, because I don't think I've reviewed it yet, and if I did, too bad, I'm doing it again. Uh, White Musk by The Body Shop. Mine's an old-ass bottle. I got it, came out in 2007, and I think I got it around 2007, maybe 2008. Um, I'm going to start to peel and stuff, you can see the... I mean, it's old. And, uh... It's, yeah. It's from the Body Shop. Body Shop gets slept on a lot. They have a lot of nice scents. Uh, again, kind of like the Playboy, though. A lot of them don't have great performance. Like the Body Shop or even uh, Bath and Body Works. They, they smell great, but they don't perform the best. Which is, uh... Unfortunate. But anyway, let's get into that, and then I'll tell you why I wore it, and what I thought of it, and all that stuff. White Moss 2007 is just an aromatic. Um, top note is lavender. Mid is jasmine and geranium. Base is musk, sandalwood, tonka bean, and vetiver. Um, a lot of Isoe Super. I, I don't know if they're using... There's a Isoe Super that's like, like a white musk. I'm assuming that's what this is. Um, it's basically... Isoe Super with a little bit of florals and a touch, a touch of a woody base and a slight powdery vibe from the Tonka and the Lavender. Uh, the Bedifer might be showing up, I don't know, but it's, the, the wood is just so, so slight that it's, basically this is White Musk Isoe Super from start to finish. A little more powdery than Isoe Super because of the lavender and the tonka bean. Um, a touch, a very small touch of florals, the jasmine. But I can't break this down. I know you smell this, then you smell this. No, you spray it on. It is white musk, just like that. Powdery white musk. Very clean smelling. Uh, soapy kind of deal, but not in a like a, a classic aftershave kind of barbershop smell you know it's not soapy like that or uh like uh oh my god alfred song pour home or paco Rabal pour home you know stuff like that that's soapy um it's not like that it's just a clean fresh light very light scent which brings me to the performance see because i can't break it down for you because that's what it is like it's icy super white musk Bang, 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 bang. That's all it is. Um, 
unisex, definitely unisex, man or woman, I'm not getting into that, um, but the performance, yeah, after I wore it for a few days, I went online to see what people were saying, because I wasn't getting a lot of projection, and I generally don't like to go online, but this one I did, um, I, I, I avoided reviews for the most part, and just skimmed through, and people, and yeah, the a lot of people are really trash in its performance. I don't find it as bad as they're saying, especially for the price. This thing is now like $15, $16 at the body shop. Here in Canada, anyway. I mean, come on. But, uh, um, about four hours, maybe five. Um, projects, not very much for about 20 minutes. And then it's uh, pretty much an intimate scent. You pretty much have to be right up hugging whoever's wearing it to smell it um which is fine that's because it's a kind of a scent i wear for me so it kind of snuggles you in you know what i mean i like that um i mean you can smell it but you have to be pretty damn close and when you are smelling it everybody loved it uh i put it on just before i went into work because i knew it wasn't strong and I put on like 10 sprays. And for the first 15, 20 minutes, I got uh, all week about four compliments, five compliments. I can't remember now. I should write that down. But anyway, everybody just said it smelled nice. It smelled nice. A couple girls said they want, they'd want to wear it. So very unisex scent. It's not going to choke anybody out. There's no manly. Silverback. You know, none of that stuff. It's, it is what it is. And I love it. Um, I also noticed a lot of people saying it reminds of a Prada Luna Rosa Black. I, I can't. I reviewed it a while ago. I only had a sample. I can't remember. So I'm not going to say it does or it doesn't. I think it's more just that powdery vibe. Because I do remember Prada Ruta, Rosa, Rosa Black giving a bit of a musky powdery vibe. Um, classy vibe. Which is, you know, what this is. I'm not classy classic. Um, but yeah, it's, it's for me. Okay. Here comes story time with the cologne guy. <laughs> Deal with it. That's the review. Uh, but I mean, I understand that my, my view on it is probably different than yours. A lot of people uh, don't have a, a lot of attachment to white musk from the body shop. But here's the story. Why the high school kids walking around reminding me, wanting me to wear it. My girlfriend in high school, my first love, <laughs> was, uh, she wore it, uh, the, the perfume oil, the white musk perfume oil, and uh, it's technically for women, but again, but it's, it, it's, it's unisex, it smells like pretty much exactly like this, just stronger, um, it, uh, and I loved her, so I did, young puppy love. But I did love her. And uh, every time I smell it, I'm reminded of not just her in general, but that time. You know what I mean? That, that high school, football, rugby, wrestling, her, parties. Um, just that, that carefree, you know. Little did we know life was going to kick us in the nuts in about two or three years afterwards. And I stomp on her face while we were down in the mud. But anyway, life will do that to you. Um, yeah, just that carefree kind of high school vibe. I mean, I know a lot. Some people don't have that or didn't have that. High school was a fucking a fucking schlog for them. But it wasn't for me. You know, I never. I was never bullied. This is my size. I mean, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but I'm definitely pretty big. And I was even bigger back then, and uh, wrestling, boxing, I did all that stuff, and then football and rugby, so most people left me alone, um, so I didn't get bullied a lot, um, there was no internet to get cyber bullied, well, that wouldn't happen anyway, I'd have punched him in the face the next day, I seen him, they tried it, <laughs> well, you won't be a dick on the internet, mm. but uh, anyway, I don't mean to get into cyberbullying. I think that's stupid. People should stop. Just stop bullying in general. But hey, 
what do I know? I'm just an idiot. Um, yeah, so it makes me think of that time, of her, but mostly more just that feeling of, especially summer. She wore it, the first time she wore it, I remember the first time she wore it, she had this cute little yellow floral sundress on, and we, we bought that, I bought that for her, like, no, she bought that, and then a few days later, I bought her the perfume that she wanted, the white musk, so in my mind, whenever I smell white musk, I think of her, and her, you know, the cute little thing with that little dress on, and smelling just purdy. And then my my nostalgia kicks into overdrive, and I start thinking about uh, first car, uh, staying out late, parties on the beach because we had a beach that was in walking distance, a real nice beach to our high school. So if you got a car, you could walk. It would take like fifteen twenty minutes, and skipping school to go to the beach and. Your biggest worry at the time was fucking did you have enough money for a fucking case of beer on the weekend and were you going to pass math class? Oh no. But I mean that was, that was, that was huge back then though, right? You know, I get it. Um, but yeah, that's the story with the clone guy. So nostalgia wise, this is a perfect 10 for me. But realistically, if you don't have that connection to it, it's a five or a six. You know, it's performance. If it's performance was better. It would be higher because the smell is great. You gotta like white musk slash isoe super. If you don't, you're not gonna like this. This is also very good as a base for a few scents. Um, works really well with uh, woody scents, not heavy woody or green scents, but just like uh, like uh, Issey Miyake, Pour Own Blue, or whatever it is. Works really well with that. It actually works really well. I tried it today with uh, Dior Homme 2020 because they're both isoe super heavy. But that's more of a woody type Isoe Super, where this is more of a musky Isoe Super, but together they, they mix really well. Like, I'm surprised nobody's come up with that cologne yet. Dior, if you're listening, do it. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's unisex. It can be worn by a man or woman. I'm actually thinking about going to get the perfume oil because they still sell it at the body shop. And it's only like 20 bucks now. And just using the two to get better performance. I also have the aftershave balm. Before I... I got this, like I said before. I was really, really heavy, heavy, heavy into cologne. And uh, I was into it, but not like I am now. Like for the past 10 years anyway. Um, so I didn't know you, you could just use a onset aftershave with a couple sprays. But... So that helps the performance a little bit, but still not much. Um... Yeah, I love the bottle, by the way. I mean, I didn't talk about that. I love the gradient. I'm a sucker for a gradient bottle. You guys all know that goes from basically clear to light lavender, darker lavender, to a purple, to a royal purple, almost to a black. Like, when you hold it up to a light, it is almost black at the very top here. And, uh, yeah, I love that bottle. Simple bottle, but I love the right gradients, like I said. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. That's, 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 I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who want a Playboy review, but I just couldn't do it. I was just like, nah, you know, I've, I've talked about Playboy, have three or four reviews of them already, talked about them being a clone house, and so, I'm sorry, um, I will be doing a clone, I have done a clone, a dupe, but I will be doing one this week, just to keep the flow of things. But yeah, that was a quick review of White Musk. Well, not so quick, but a quick review of White Musk and then a long talk about why I liked it. So, so give me, give me uh, in the comments. Uh, I say it all the time, and, and some of you do, some of you don't. Everybody do it. What cologne or perfume are you nostalgia for for high school because of a significant other, if you have one? Let me know. I, I'd like to know. I love stories. You know that. I'm a storyteller at heart. And uh, I love nostalgic stories. Past. Um, 
Tell me ones you hate, too. Sometimes it's ones you hate, too. There was a girlfriend I had who wore, uh, oh, my God. Oh, I forget the name of the perfume now, but every time I smell it, I think of her, and it was not a good relationship. It only lasted a few months, but it's like, oh, witch, <laughs> stay away. <laughs> witch. So, yeah, but anyway, let me know. I'd be really, really, really interested in knowing that one. So, please do. I don't care if it's a fucking half a novel. I'll read it because I like them stories. And I will like and or comment. Probably both. All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other.